Do you know what really happened between Drew Scott and Jonathan Scott from Property Brothers? Why HGTV's Property Brothers were sued? Shocking update about them, you will be surprised to know everything. The concept of a reality TV often brings to mind the hyperdramatic worlds of the Real Housewives franchise or the Kardashian family, but HGTV's spin-off spawning hit Property Brothers is probably a better example of reality than the other two. We all of us know that with over 10 shows, Property Brothers' stars Drew and Jonathan Scott are known for being some of the biggest names on the HGTV channel. However, while shows like Property Brothers, Forever Home, and Brother vs. Brother present a wholesome, competent image of the twin brothers and their work, the behind-the-scenes reality may not be as picturesque as it appears on the screen. At least, that's what a 2021 lawsuit issued against the Property Brothers production firm and a Nevada construction company alleges. Paul and Mindy King, who appeared in Season 14 Episode 7 of Property Brothers, were extremely disappointed with the work they received through the HGTV show, ultimately taking legal action to receive reparations. While Drew and Jonathan Scott were not personally named in the lawsuit, the case is inextricably linked to the brothers through the show and production company. While court records indicate that the case is still open, here is everything to know about why the Property Brothers production company is being sued. The couple alleges faulty workmanship in their lawsuit. While Paul and Mindy King agreed to appear on Property Brothers, hoping to receive the screenworthy, forever home renovation of their dreams, they ended up exceptionally unhappy with the house they were left with. The couple filed a lawsuit on January 14, 2021 against Cineflix Media, the Property Brothers production company, and Villa Construction, the Nevada contractor employed by the network for the renovation. In the original legal complaint, the couple asked for $1.477 million in reparations, naming over 90 issues with the home. A story by CanTV features the Kings showcasing some of the problems they've been faced with, ranging from the cosmetic, such as uneven baseboards and crooked grout lines, to the serious, such as exposed wiring and out-of-code electrical work. While Mindy filed a complaint with the Nevada State Contractors Board in 2020, the subsequent investigation only listed 10 items for villa construction to address. The construction company and Cineflix have since maintained that the Kings refused to allow the contractors into the house to fix the outlined defects, a claim the couple denies. Cineflix responds to the claims made by the Kings. Since Paul and Mindy King brought forth allegations regarding the work quality of their property brothers or renovation, Cineflix, the production company behind the HGTV show, has publicly responded. The corporation maintains that the couple thwarted their efforts to remedy the issues outlined by the Nevada State Contractors Board. This is an obvious attempt by the Kings to garner attention and financial gain while the matter is still before the courts, the Cineflix's statement read, via the New York Times. As Cineflix and Villa Construction are obligated to respond to the Chapter 40 notice, which will dictate the next steps. While we dispute a number of the deficiencies, we remain committed to resolving the Chapter 40 claim. Jonathan Scott's lawyer also released a statement to CanTV, stating that neither Drew nor Jonathan are responsible for the allegations issued by the Kings and lamenting what they describe as an attempt to secure a substantial monetary settlement. So viewers, please like this video and subscribe our channel, thanks for watching.